how do you do? Here are some of the more obscure signs that affluent men think you are easy to get and you should absolutely avoid this. Any photo in Dubai will make any affluent man suspect you are the worst kind of a sex worker. So, Dubai has 30,000 sex workers. And the most notorious are called Dubai Porter Party. Men overestimate sexual interest and would rather be safe than sorry than marry an our strategist. Dubai might be in the Middle East, but it is the world's hub for high-end sex work. Though middle-class Emiratis are Muslim, the elite is not known to practice Islam. In Dubai, there are sex workers everywhere, at the high-end hotels, at the bars, and high-end escorts dress elegantly or in the Instagram style. Dubai men find models on Instagram around the world and then they pay them 20,000, 30,000 I read to fly them over and then they do disgusting things on them like it's not elegant to say but poop on them and just Google Dubai port party. Dubai was not like this at all when I grew up. Now it's a disaster for your reputation as there are erotic massage calling cards everywhere and it's the international affluent playboy paradise. If you take photos with Dubai billionaires, international elite assume that you're a worker, even if you're not. There is every form of depravity in Dubai, even Bashar Assad visited. It's something that you should not tell people that you were there. If you take photos there, it should look inside a restaurant that it could be anywhere. You know, don't admit to people that you have been there. Men think London to Dubai on an Instagram profile indicates that you're a sex worker, so avoid that. Also, if you had a legitimate job, such as engineering in Dubai, don't tell people you worked there, say I worked in the Emirates, I worked in the Middle East because men overestimate things, especially since the stories of the Dubai Porter Party have circulated everywhere. I learned about these things in Dubai when a friend of mine got engaged to an affluent Emirati. He cheated on her sexually, which was a shock and with women who were, uh, you know, I talked about earlier. She broke off the engagement and married her countrymen and lived happily ever after. <laughs>
that don't look like there's something you can own. So for example, if you save working for a few summers and you can finally get yourself a lovely sunglasses or, you know, a handbag second hand, right? Mr. Dior said there's a stage in life when a woman is a madame and a stage where she's a mademoiselle. And it's not elegant for a mademoiselle to wear things that are for madame. Madame is usually a woman 25 and older, or if she's married up at 18 and younger, she's madame. So either you got it from your husband, or you got it from your profession, you know, a legitimate profession. So that's why, you know, it's not good to run around in a Ferrari covered with designer labels at the age of 23. Many affluent men would think you are a stripper. Next is don't post your travels on social media. Keep it private because men assume if you travel without your family, it's to increase your body count where you cannot be shamed for it locally. Don't post photos of jet set hotspots, especially don't change your location to Saint Tropez. Remember the Dubai Porter Party. So, Dubai Porter Parties, after what they own, like to spend things on expensive five-star Instagram vacations in Jet Set Hotspots. Changing your location to Saint Tropez or going there and taking photos in these hotspots is a great way for Dubai recruiters or pimps to spot a Instagram porta party and offer her $30,000. In the winter, they go to Verbier, Gestad, St. Moritz, and then the jet set circuit goes to St. Bart's, etc. And in the summer, they summit Saint Tropez, and they also go to Bali and Ibiza in the summer. Also, they go to Mykonos, to Santorini, and then to Capri and Amalfi Coast. Ibiza. In Spain, a nightclub scene is especially bad with the topless dancing, simulated erotic dancing in the clubs, and so on, to the point where Nikki Hilton didn't have photos there and managed to marry up and marry a Rothschild, where Paris Hilton, a DJ there, had to settle at 40 of someone with considerably lower wealth. Therefore, putting photos of jet set hotspots on your Instagram, a man thinks you might be a floozy doing so to show that you're interested in a fun time and not a serious relationship. Men are wary of ladies who have photos in notorious party hotspots like Cancun, Jamaica, Las Vegas, Ibiza, or Bali. Men are wary of ladies who have photos in notorious party hotspots like Cancun, Jamaica, Las Vegas, Ibiza, or Bali. The next sign that men think you might be easy is when you post photos of going on vacation with your girlfriends because too many girlfriends when they go on vacation especially to places like Greece and Italy on a girl's trip, tend to do so to increase their partner count and have intimate relations with random men for fun in a way they couldn't do back home without being shamed. The couple naughty ladies who do this make vacations a bad reputation for everyone as men would rather be safe than sorry and a certain jet set blogger admitted she was doing exactly that. The couple naughty ladies who do this make vacations a bad reputation for everyone as men would rather be safe than sorry, and a certain jet set blogger admitted she was doing exactly that. Affluent men 
enjoy a well-traveled lady who traveled with her family, her significant other, or for work. So make your vacation photos private so only you and your girlfriends can see them. And say you love to travel with your family and for work. Also, never put you like the book Eat, Pray, Love or you're finding yourself or references to Bali unless you post it there as a diplomat and then I would say I was posted as a diplomat to Indonesia. See, that sounds a lot more respectable than you were posted to Bali because most girls go to Bali to find themselves. They end up falling in love with this yoga instructor and that one and the other and they're far from home so they increase their body count a lot more than back home. So that's something I would avoid. Any references to Bali and say I was in Indonesia. Affluent men think ladies who smoke cigarettes are more likely to put out on a first date if they have other uh, floozy indicators. Affluent men think ladies who smoke other indicators are also if a woman talks about marijuana or drugs, even the talk of this means she's more likely to be easy or trying hard to be cool and women who try hard are usually desperate and are more likely to put out given also a series of other indicators of desperation. Women who drink manly drinks are more likely to be easy if you also add other indicators, right? It's always a cluster. So especially whiskey. Bad hunched posture like this is also likely low self-esteem. Also, being low maintenance means you're more likely to have low self-esteem. So if you're low maintenance, again, that's combined, let's say, with tattoos and wearing inappropriate clothes, something like this, where you have more than one sign, you know, also another sign. Another indicator is the loudest girl in the bar or the class clown biggest attention seeker who is desperate, desperate, desperate for attention, who's especially the loud lady monopolizing the conversation who's very loud. The next one is swearing. Men look out for women who swear too much. It means they're more likely to be an arse strategist, live fast, die young, promiscuous or desperate to be liked. Women who swear are much more likely to be easy. Not, not just swearing, but if, you, if that in, with a cluster of other traits, right? Another indicator is that you're 50-50, that you split the date, or, or that you have 50-50 friends, right? If most of your friends are 50-50 egalitarians, they think you're probably an egalitarian too. So I know it's really hard to when a woman is hypergamous, but in front of men, you might not want to introduce your 50-50 friends immediately because then they think, oh, you must probably be influenced by them. Please share, like or hate, and subscribe and have a lovely week. Ciao!